Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news about George Soros. Three Soros campaigns to further advance the left's radical agenda. Three new George Soros campaigns to further advance the left's radical agenda have been uncovered in separate news reports published this week. Keep in mind that the U.S. government subsidizes the Hungarian billionaire's deeply politicized Open Society Foundations (OSF) that work to destabilize legitimate governments, erase national borders, target conservative politicians, finance civil unrest, subvert institutions of higher education, and orchestrate refugee crises for political gain. Details of the financial and staffing nexus between OSF and the U.S. government are available in a Judicial Watch investigative report. With the help of American taxpayer dollars, Soros bolsters a radical left-wing agenda that in the United States has included, promoting an open border with Mexico and fighting immigration enforcement efforts, fomenting racial disharmony by funding anti-capitalist racialist organizations, financing the Black Lives Matter movement and other organizations involved in the riots in Ferguson, Missouri, weakening the integrity of our electoral systems, promoting taxpayer-funded abortion on demand, advocating a government-run health care system opposing U.S. counterterrorism efforts, promoting dubious transnational climate change agreements that threaten American sovereignty and working to advance gun control and erode Second Amendment protections. The list extends even further, with Soros tentacles, money, reaching previously unknown domestic and foreign causes that promote a broad left-wing agenda at various levels. It turns out Soros donated $408,000 to a political action committee PAC, that supported Cook County State's attorney Kim Fox whose office just dropped felony charges against the actor who fabricated a hate crime earlier this year. The actor, Jesse Smollett, claimed he was attacked in Chicago on his way home from a sandwich shop at 2 a.m. Latest, Rep. Omar claims life in USA is an everyday assault. He said two masked men shouted racial and homophobic slurs, beat him, poured bleach on him and tied a rope around his neck. Smollett blamed the crime on white Trump supporters. When the hooks was uncovered, Prosecutors charged him with 16 felonies but Fox dropped all the charges this week. Illinois campaign records provided in the news report show that Soros personally contributed $333,000 to Fox's Super PAC before the March 15, 2016 primary was over and an additional $75,000 after she became Cook County's top prosecutor. Soros has been intervening in local races for prosecutor, state's attorney, and district attorney, often backing left-wing Democrats against other Democrats in doing so. According to the article, another report published this week reveals that a Soros Foundation gave $1 million to a nonprofit that favors choosing the president by popular vote. The group, National Popular Vote Incorporated, gets millions from leftist groups to push its purported agenda of ensuring that every vote in every state matters. Another group, Tides Foundation, that raises money for left-wing causes, also contributed to the Popular Vote nonprofit. Soros OSFs have given millions of dollars to the Tides Foundation according to records provided in the story. Based in San Francisco, the group envisions a world of shared prosperity and social justice founded on equality, human rights, healthy communities and a sustainable environment. The nonprofit strives to accelerate the pace of social change by, among other things, working with marginalized communities. The last article documents what Judicial Watch has reported for years, Soros' huge influence in the U.S. government, specifically the State Department. The agency pressured Ukraine officials to drop an investigation of a Soros group during the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Barack Obama's U.S. ambassador actually gave Ukraine's prosecutor general a list of people who should not be prosecuted. The U.S. Soros collaboration was visible in Kiev, the article states. Several senior Department of Justice DOJ, officials and FBI agents appeared in pictures as participants or attendees at Soros-sponsored events and conferences. The piece further reveals that internal memos from Soros foundations describe a concerted strategy of creating friendships inside key U.S. government agencies such as the Departments of Justice and State. The relationships go deeper than friendships and Judicial Watch has exposed the disturbing reality of American taxpayers financing Soros left-wing plots abroad. This includes uncovering documents showing State Department funding of Soros leftist nonprofits in Albania to attack traditional, pro-American groups and policies. U.S. government funding of Soros' radical globalist agenda in Guatemala, Colombia, Romania, and Macedonia. The cash usually flows through the State Department and U.S. Agency for International Development, you said. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click 
like, and subscribe. Thank you.